The Metropolitan Police Commissioner has told MPs that when he gave an interview backing his officer's version of events in the Downing Street Plebgate row, he hadn't actually seen the police log or CCTV of the incident. Sir Bernard Hogan Howe told MPs that he's now keeping an open mind towards the new investigation, Operation Alice, which is looking into the events in Downing Street that led to the former Conservative Chief Whip, Andrew Mitchell, losing his job. Here's our political correspondent, Michael Crick. Today, three weeks after our broadcast of CCTV pictures of what happened with Andrew Mitchell in Downing Street that night, the Met police chief was grilled by MPs. He'd not seen the CCTV footage, Sir Bernard said, till we broadcast it. Merely read a report on the Met's first inquiry into who leaked the police log of events. You said all the evidence that I saw. What evidence did you see? You clearly uh, did not see the police log. Certainly, I hadn't seen you the police. You did not see the CCTV. I, I can't remember exactly, but we can always inform you later. Certainly, I had not seen the CCTV. Sure. Uh, the only uh, thing I think I had seen by then was a report on what our officers had said broadly. The chairman, Keith Baz, didn't seem impressed. This is where the Prime Minister lives. And you also knew that this was a member of the cabinet. Did you not think of asking Jeremy Haywood to provide you, the cabinet secretary, to provide you with a copy of the CCTV? Isn't this a basic policing instinct? What I, what I find extraordinary is that Michael Crick, who as far as I understand has not been through Brands Hill, was able to get all the information together. But you and many, many other senior officers just failed to do so. More than a hundred days since the police launched their first inquiry into the leak of the police log to the Daily Telegraph, Sir Bernard told MPs he did not know for certain yet if what the Telegraph published was the actual log or an account of it. MPs were astonished. Well, on that strand of the investigation, I reckon I could do that in about three minutes. Last month, a serving police officer was arrested for this email exposed on Channel 4, which was sent to the Deputy Chief Whip, supposedly from an ordinary member of the public. So why, three days after that arrest, did Sir Bernard still say there was nothing that caused him to doubt the original police account of events? We got a small apology. What I should have taken a little more time in a quick interview to take more time to say was, of course, it causes a concern. To, to discover how did that email therefore get written. Was there a conspiracy, which is one of the terms of reference of our inquiry between officers at the time or anybody subsequently. So I'm acknowledging that you know I could have taken a little more time to explain my position. In a quick radio interview, I didn't, and that's what I'm acknowledging. The Met have 30 officers on this inquiry, which even some of Andrew Mitchell's friends say is a bit excessive. Sir Bernard Hogan Howe told MPs, though, he should have a report ready for the Crown Prosecution Service around the end of this month. Michael Crick, Channel 4 News, Westminster.